Now you're looking to drop your next 20 pounds and the thing about last year is a lot of our clients dropped their first 20, now they're focused on this last 20 and then we're gonna really dial into dropping the body fat and then building more muscle. But you might have had a small break over the summer or Christmas and you started the weight gaining cycle. So the very first thing that we need to do is get your body primed in the first week of belly burn and front load your calories so that we can backdrop the extra weight that you might have gained. I call this the descending method of dropping weight. So if you want to learn more about this or you need personalized coaching, then go to www.fitclub.fit and mention the belly burn. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna front load your calories and give you three refeeds to start. So what is a refeed? A refeed is when you go into higher calories and you get higher carbs. So what I wanna do is start your week off with three higher calorie days. So an example of this would be doing 1800 Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and your macros are gonna be 30% protein, 40% carbs, pay attention, 40% carbs, and then the third one is going to be 30% fats. Now, towards the end of the week, we're gonna to start to strip off the calories, but we don't wanna go from 1,800 calories all the way down to 1,200 calories. We wanna do a gradual reduction so that the curve looks like this. So I would go 18, 18, 18, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for you, and then on Thursday and Friday, I would strip it down just a little bit at 1,500 calories. At 1,500 calories is when your body probably doesn't feel full, you're not bloated, and you're able to eat all those calories. Again, you're gonna be a little bit full on the front end. In the middle, we're gonna to start to normalize at 1500 calories, and I wanna make a slight adjustment to your macros. So at the 1500 calories, I actually want you to go 40% protein, 30% carbs, and then 30% fat. So this is more of a normal macro split, and it's a normal caloric budget. Then on Saturday, Sunday, that's when I want you to decrease the calories significantly. So I would wanna go 18, 15, and then I wanna strip you down to 1200 calories. And remember, it's only for two days. So this is like calorie decrease. This is where you're probably going to get hungry. And up here is where you're probably going to get full. Now with these calories down here at 1200, I actually want your macros to be 50% protein, 25% carbs, and 25% fats. Now, what does this do in the grand scheme of things? Now, this is one section of a big section, okay? So this is phase one of a 28-day cycle for the belly burn, okay? Things are gonna change next week, so this is just phase one, but doesn't mean that you can't try it. What you need to do is go to our website, fitclub.fit and mention the belly burn and we'll help build this out for you. But this is a generalized one that I've written for some of the clients that have already dropped 20 and are looking to lose the next 20. So again, 18, 15, 12, note the macro changes. So what's gonna happen is naturally you're going to clean it up because you're in a challenge. So going out to eat, not tracking your food and eating high calories on some days and low calories on, on other days, like it just doesn't, create consistency for your body and that's what it's looking for. But now we're going to trick the body into thinking we might get an abundance of calories because we've been eating a lot of calories but not too much that we're spilling way over into fat and weight but it's enough to make us full and enough to tell the body that hey we have enough calories in us that once we start to strip and your body starts to dump more calories that 1200 calories that you're eating on the back end to the body actually might feel more like 800 calories. So you actually might stimulate your metabolism to speed up and to start burning more calories so that you can drop more weight so that when you do a weigh in on Monday after doing seven days of this, you might see a first two to three pound loss. Whereas usually after like a longer break like Christmas or summer, you gain anywhere from five to 10 pounds over those months. And then what happens is the first week is just trying to even lose one to two pounds if you can. You're really just trying to stop you from gaining more weight. But usually with the normal routine, we'll just stop the weight gain that you've been doing by the end of the week. But now we're actually going to start the weight loss and the fat loss by the end of the week so that when you roll around to your second week and your coach sends you out your belly burn plan, guess what happens? you're already in a two to three pound weight loss cycle. So into that second week, when we give you your new calories, macros, and strategy, guess what? 
your body is already churning the weight, it's already churning the fat, and you're gonna lose probably another three to five pounds over the next two weeks. And so if in a challenge you can drop anywhere from eight to 12 pounds, and even if you gain five pounds over the course of the next like three weeks before the next challenge, guess what? You're still down a solid five. So we only have 15 to go. And we've got three more belly burns before the summer. So there's no reason why we can't get you down 20 right before the summer. And then at, once we get back after the summer, we'll see where you're at, we'll do the assessment, and then we'll say, okay, this is gonna be the best strategy for you. But this strategy that I just gave to you, the descending calories, is a great strategy that if you've been on a weight gain cycle and you're ready to get serious, then start your calories a little bit higher find that perfect caloric budget for you in the middle where you're not full, not hungry, and then go hungry for two days. This way your body drops the weight, drops the fat, and you start your weight loss cycle. Now again, if you're looking for a deeper dive into specifics of what your calories and macros should be, we can only do this through a 28 day belly burn challenge. So go to the website, www.fitclub.fit and mention the belly burn.